Right now, dozens of diehard whiskey fans are camping outside of Stranahan's Distillery. Yeah, they've been there for about a week. Yes, a week camping out there. It's what's become a, somewhat of a tradition here in Denver. And it's all for the special release of Snowflake Whiskey. And tomorrow, they'll have a chance to finally get their hands on a bottle or two. <laughs> Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live for us. Megan, this year the line is a little different. A little different, Mitch and Molly. That's because it's a little longer. It's grown even in the time that we were here this morning. So it goes all the way up this block. It goes around the block over here. And guys, new this year, there are more RVs. Those RVs are also parked across the street. There are just so many people here waiting for their chance to get a bottle of this whiskey. And I mean, you might be thinking, are these guys crazy for waiting out in the cold for a week for some whiskey? Well, I asked them. Are you guys ready for numbers? Maybe they're a little crazy. I request vacation time and they say, oh, what are you doing for your vacation? I said, I'm going camping. What? Where do you go camping in November? I'm like, I-25 in Kalamath. Or maybe they just really know what they like. It's the best whiskey you can buy. But every winter since 2007, dozens of people have braved the cold to camp out for days. And been waiting since Sunday. They've been here since... Wednesday. Uh, I got here yesterday. Waiting for a chance to buy a special bottle of Snowflake whiskey. Okay, so you're 81? Yes, sir. Left hand. Stranahan's Distillery only sells them one day a year and only about 1,500 at a time. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. You're official. 82? And each batch is completely unique. This is my vacation. For years, Russell Cowden has been the first person in line. And they're like, oh, this guy is crazy. Yes, yes, he is. Well, except for last year. I was third in line last year. He was beat out by this guy. This is my fourth year. And yeah, he panicked a bit. And seriously contemplated setting a tent on fire. Don't worry though, they're friends. I didn't set their tent on fire. This year he came a week early, fully stocked, and he says it's better than traditional camping. There's no bears. <laughs> There's bears fans. I saw one of those earlier, but there's no mosquitoes. Because for the people here, how's it going? It's as much about the experience Are you warm? as it is the whiskey. What's for breakfast? Yeah, think of it as like the longest, funnest tailgate you've ever been on. All right, check out these guys waiting out here playing games, drinking a little bit. You got some lays and some palm trees. It's fun here. So, yeah, it's a week worth of waiting, but you know, the payoff is worth it. The bottles go for 100 bucks a piece. It's a limit of two per person. There's still time to get in line, but you're definitely going to need to get in line by tonight because, guys, this line is growing significantly. I'm live in Denver. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. You have to go out and buy an RV now. Yeah, I'm curious, Megan, are there any <laughs> women in that line? Because we see it, it's kind of a man party. Are there women? Yeah, there's a woman right here. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of ladies. Oh, okay, all right, all right. All right. All right. A lucky girl. And I'm going to get in line too. How about that, Molly? <laughs> All right. Thanks, Megan. <laughs>